Hello, I'm here today with Judy Wilson from the COA in Harwich, and she is the newly appointed executive director. I'm delighted to make her acquaintance and to learn something about what's going on at the COA under her guidance this year. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So I wanted to talk a little bit today uh, about the fact that we have a new newsletter coming out, um, and that'll be mailed probably by the end of next week uh, to people who are on our mailing list. Um, we had to do a little bit of a redesign with the newsletter um, because we are receiving a budget cut from the state, and that is part of the grant that funds our newsletter. So people are going to notice that it looks considerably different. Um, we are eliminating color, and we've tried to condense our information in order to make it a little bit of a shorter publication um, in order to reduce the, the cost of it, and which we were able to do. Um, so people will be getting um, something that looks very different, but it will have a lot of information in it. Um, and we've tried to make it in as readable a, a presentation as we can um, for those um, that found reading in color difficult. The other thing that we are doing is that we are going to publish some of it in large print so that if people have difficulty reading the print, we will have copies here in large print that people could request to be mailed to them. So that's new. How do you uh, distribute that newsletter, Judy? So the newsletter is distributed by mail. We have copies here. We bring copies uh, on the bus when we transport people. Um, we'll have them at all the events, and they're always here in the community center. Um, anybody who's a resident of Harwich, 60 or older, can get the newsletter for free. Um, Non-residents, we ask that they come in and pick it up. Um, or if somebody is participating in activities on a regular basis, uh, we would make an exception and make sure that they get the newsletter as well. Okay, great. And I'm assuming the newsletter will have all kinds of information about new activities and old activities that are being reinstituted? Yeah, we have. I mean, you're going to see all of the same things that we've done for a long time that are successful. We have our breakfast program, a men's and a, and a woman's breakfast. Um, the women's is now a regular uh, event, and um, the men's um, has been a very successful event. We won't have those events in November because of the holidays that fall on Fridays, uh, which is typically our breakfast days. But you'll see the dates of that in the newsletter for December. And both of the breakfasts will have special holiday music, so that will be exciting. Um, but we have some new programs starting as well. We are collaborating with the Masonic Angels Foundation, and um, we are going to be really um, trying to get a successful laptop for seniors program off the ground here. Um, and what, what that is is that we request donations of used laptops for people. Uh, they bring them in, and uh, volunteers from the Masonic Angels Foundation will refurbish the program, refurbish the device, and then load it with different software. And we can uh, provide them at no cost to people of need. Um, and then, of course, we are Wi-Fi. The library is Wi-Fi, and we have some information about uh, affordable internet access for people who live in subsidized mm -hmm. housing. So um, because so many people are really relying on technology now for communication, um, we think that this is an important program to get off the ground here. And yeah, It sounds like a great program. <coughs> and do you give uh, seniors some help with their uh, technical needs? We do, and, and we're going to be really working with um, the library. We're, we're Part of our efforts are really trying to collaborate with local resources and make sure that um, we're you know, bringing as much information as we can to the community. So while we're rolling out the laptop for seniors, we're going to be working with the staff of the Brooks Free Library to provide two different programs here at the, here at the Council on Aging. One of them is going to be what we call Tech Cafe, and every month we are going to roll out a new technology platform a topic of some of some kind that's relevant. Um, it might be email. It might be um, how to um, video conference with family members who don't live close by. It's a good way to stay in touch with grandchildren. Um, it might be learning how to get craft information on the internet and what the great sites are to do that. It might be travel sites. Um, so we're working with them, and each one of those programs will happen monthly, and there'll be a demo of the technology and then an opportunity for questions and answers. And the, on, the other thing that we're going to do monthly um, is the device advice, and the library does this at the library, but we're going to bring the service to the seniors here um, just to make sure that this is a comf comfortable way to kind of ask questions, and you get individualized service with, um, with one of the librarians. 
um, and you can bring in your device, whether it's an, you know, an iPad, an e-reader, a laptop, an iPhone, and get your questions answered on an individual basis. And, and that will be announced as a certain date where people so, will be able to do that? Yes. Both of those things will happen monthly, and the, the information will be in the newsletter, and the dates will be on the calendar that we publish as well. Okay, great. That sounds very useful. I, I know a lot of people who could use that. Yeah. So we have some other new programs also. Um, I don't want everybody to think we're all technology here because we're <laughs> certainly people-oriented, and, and that's very important to us. Um, another important program that we have coming up is that we are doing a holiday support group. Um, this time of year can be very challenging for somebody who's lost a loved one this year. Um, and the holidays, there's so much pressure to be joyful and um, spend time with family. And so that can be really challenging. So we are going to be um, sponsoring a holiday support group for those who are dealing with loss issues over the holidays. Um, and that information will be in the newsletter as well. And that's an important group um, to, to be aware of. Uh, another really important program that we're doing is uh, November has traditionally been Alzheimer's or Dementia Awareness Month. So we are going to be uh, working with the Cape Cod Alzheimer's Family Support Center um, to offer memory screenings. So th this is an opportunity for people to come in if they have some questions about w whether something is normal or not normal. Um, you know, is it, is it normal to kind of forget this? Is it normal to not know this? Um, and so if they have questions, they can sign up for a screening. Um, and uh, somebody will come in from the Alzheimer's Family Support Center and um, spend some time with them. And then um, if there are issues or concerns, um, recommend a follow-up for that. So that's a really important program that we're excited to be offering in November here. Yes. Is that new or is that something that's been done before? <clears throat> I know that I, um, in my past, I have really um, facilitated programs mm -hmm. like this in the past. I mean, part of, you know, part of aging um, is dealing with change. And um, some change is um, expected and some change is not expected. Um, and this is a good way to find out, um, you, you know, I'm a chronic to-do list maker myself. And I joke a little bit in the office and at home that I should have bought stock in um, Post-it notes. <laughs> um, because if I don't write it down, I forget it. So, um, but some people, you know, that's not normal for them. And so they want to know, is this, you know, is this something I should be concerned about? And that's really what these screenings are meant to, to do, is to let people know um, whether something is concerning or whether it's not concerning. And, and, and I would say probably half of the appointments um, that I've been involved in in the past, people learn that, you know, what's happening is normal. Um, and so that's a good thing. Um, it's good to feel kind of uh, self-assured. Yes. Yes. So we have a couple of other new programs coming up also, um, and which I'm very excited about. Um, we're going to be starting cooking classes here at the Council on Aging, mm -hmm. and those are going to be monthly. <laughs> um, so we have a couple of cooking classes coming up um, in November and December. Um, one is about easy party appetizers, and that's going to be our November class. And the other one is going to be a heartwarming holiday brunch. And um, the information on that will be in the newsletter. But that's what one of the things that we're trying to do is make sure we offer a little bit for everybody here so that um, we're offering fitness classes and kind of human service type programs and recreation and opportunities to address um, really what the needs are as we uh, grow older, which are, you know, the need to stay engaged. Um, and so it's important that we offer different kinds of programs mm -hmm. to make sure that we have something for everybody. Well, there's always a need for good food. There's always and a need so for good food. cooking right. classes sound right. like if, great fun yeah. as well as useful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's very exciting. Um, we also, um, we have a movie license, and so we are going to also start showing movies oh, here yes. on a monthly basis. And um, I have had success with this in my past. I'm a bit of a movie buff. And so we're going to be showing some kind of new DVD release type movies. I follow, I'm an Oscar um, kind of nerd, so I follow that. Um, so we'll be showing those uh, when they start getting released on DVDs in the new year. 
Um, but in November, we're going to be showing a new DVD release called The Glass Castle. Um, and that's a movie that is based on um, what was a, a very popular book in book groups. So a lot of people may may want to come see that. And, and a true story. And a true story. Yeah, a very yes. moving story, very, actually. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I read the book and loved it, and mm -hmm. I liked the movie. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, for me, whenever you read a book and you watch the movie, sometimes things... Don't mm. translate, but the the visuals in the movie I thought were as I had pictured when I, I read the book. I think so. the movie was very well yeah. done. So yes. that was exciting. And then um, the movie for December will be The Big Sick, which is um, has a little bit of Oscar buzz in terms of uh, the performances in the movie. So uh, that's going to be. Um, we'll serve refreshments, popcorn, and um, so it'll just be a fun, relaxing kind of social program uh, to do. And so that's we're an afternoon, that. uh, what day of the week do you have uh, planned? It, I think they're know? on Tuesdays. Tuesday uh, the afternoon. dates will be in the mm -hmm. newsletter okay. and we'll be doing that um, at least once a month. So that's very exciting. Yes. Looking forward yes. to that. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so uh, do you have anything else in mind moving forward? I well, I, you know, we, um, there's been a lot of transition at the Senior Center. Um, I'm new. Mm -hmm. I've been here for about six weeks now, and our executive assistant, Marie Carlson, is new. Um, and so we're really kind of learning the ropes together. Um, we, um, we are pleased, you know, to have followed such cherished staff members um, so that there are, you know, there are things in place, um, tools for us to use. Um, and now we're working on what kind of a stamp we really want to put on things. So, um, you know, there's been a little bit of a learning curve in terms of kind of the details of the office, which we're working with. But um, the staff has been really wonderful. We're meeting on a regular basis. We're trying to kind of set some goals for ourselves for the coming year. And, and um, the other thing I've been doing is I've been meeting with seniors. I've had a number of seniors come in and ask to meet with me to talk about some of the issues that they feel are important or programs mm. they would like to see. Um, and certainly that feedback is really important. Must be um, great. So it helps yeah. keep us focused really on the community, which is why we're here, um, and make sure that we're serving the people that are relying on us for services. Yeah. So it's really good, good to get input from the people Very you're good. serving. Yes. Very important. Yeah. yeah. And as the other thing that we're probably looking at, um, you know, in the next few months is really looking at our transportation program. Transportation is one of the top three needs for seniors, and it's been that way for 30 years. Um, I worked at Elder Services when I first moved to the Cape back in the uh, late 80s, and it came up on a survey done by the Area Agency on Agency then, and it came up again as a top need uh, in the last year. And so what we know is that over these 30 years, um, we have more seniors living on the Cape, um, and people are living in the community longer. And so transportation, although all uh, this, the Cape Cod Regional Transit Authority and Councils on Aging are doing much more for transportation than we used to do, um, the demand has increased steadily. So it really means that we have to continue to improve our services. So that's going to be one of the areas that we really focus on in the coming months. So, um, But I'm looking forward to that. I know that um, we will work collaboratively with our friends who are looking at purchasing a bus um, and try and make sure that we are offering you know, the best services for, uh, for Harwich seniors. Well, that's great. And we are delighted to have you here. Congratulations on your new job, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Everybody's been wonderful. It's one of the things I... I had told somebody is that when you start a new job, you really expect to have to put yourself out there and reach out to people. But I've been just so pleasantly surprised mm. by the fact that so many people have really reached out to me. Um, so it really shows me that people are invested in the Council yes. on Aging, and that's a great environment to work and in. It's a great community. Yeah, very much so. So thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much. Again, this is Judy Wilson from the COA.